Hey, welcome back to another guitar lesson. Today we are going to learn how to play Heathens by 21 Pilots. This song is very easy to play. It requires only three or four open chords, no capo. We're in standard tuning. And after we learn the chords and the rhythm, I'm going to show you how to play some of the lead part that I was playing uh, for the chorus. All right, so let's go. So we begin the song by playing C major, A minor, and E minor. So the chord progression for the most part is C, A minor, and E minor. And you can also put an E over there, a major. You can make it a major. So the chorus goes like this. All my friends are heathens, take it slow. Alright, so we are on C major. To play C major, you need your ring finger on the 3rd fret of the 5th string, you need your middle finger on the 2nd fret of the 4th string, and index finger is on the 1st fret of the 2nd string. So you just strum once on C, 1, 2, 3. On the 3rd count, you come to A minor. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So on A minor, you need your 5th string open. 2nd fret, 2nd fret, 1st fret, alright, and then go to E minor, so for that you need open on the top string, 2nd fret, 2nd fret, open, open, open. Now we're only strumming till the 2nd string, there's, a little, there's different types of uh, strumming that you can do in the song, so for the first chorus, just when the song begins, I like to strum till the 2nd string this string, the B string, same on A minor, and same on E minor, two, three, four, please don't make sudden moves, go again, you don't know the half of the abuse. So basically what we're doing is we're strumming till the fourth string then we play the third string and the second string individually like this so like this do the same thing on a minor and the same thing on e minor just play the third string and second string individually and then for the next part of the chorus, when the drums begin, you can start doing a strum pattern, which I will come to later. But another thing that you can do is what I did. Okay, this is taken from the piano version of the song, which uh, is the original version of the song. So just, we just play it till the third string this time, and then we play the second and first strings separately, like this. Same on A minor, same on E minor, and you can come back to the second string, you know, so like that. So again, A minor, E minor. Now let's see how to play the verse of the song. For the verse, we're just using A minor and E minor. And we're using a little strum pattern over there, so it goes a bit like this. You know, you just keep doing that for the whole verse, C, A minor, sorry, to E minor. And in the very end, you're gonna switch to a B chord just before the chorus. And you go back to the chorus. All oh, my friends are you know. So, right. So first, we're gonna learn the strum pattern over here. We do this, right? So basically, it's down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. 
Uh, we're using a muting technique over here where we're going to mute the strings after the first down strum. So, the first down strum goes like this. It's a normal down strum. On the bass strings, though, we're not using the lower strings yet. So, and then we do a double down strum with the muting technique where we mute the strings. So, basically, with your right hand, when you come down, you're going to place your palm on the strings like this, and then you're going to strum on top of it. So that way, you get a mute sound. So instead of going like this, doing the first down strum, the second down strum is like this. So you just place your palm on the strings, at the same time you strum. So if I do it in slow motion, it will go like this. My palm comes on the strings, and then I do the strum. All right, so that's the slow motion. So, like this. So. You go down strum first, down, and then down, down on mute. So down, then you go up, up stroke without muting techniques, all right? So down, 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 up, then down again, and then down, down, up, down. So that's basic strum pattern, down, mute, mute, up, down, mute, mute, up, down, mute, mute, up, down, mute, mute, up, down. Now you gotta look at the chord changes. We're on A minor first. Down, mute, mute, up, down. Mute, mute, up, down. The next down stroke comes on E minor. All right, so once again, I'm gonna go slow. Down, mute, mute, up, down. Mute, mute, up, E minor. Mute, mute, up, E minor. Mute, mute, up, go back to A minor. That's what you do for the whole verse of the song. And just when you're coming to the ending of the verse, da 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 you know, that's when you come to B chord. So over, over there, B chord is played like this, or you can also play it this way. This is like an A shape. Just move it two frets up, right? So fourth string, third string, and second string, fourth fret, right? And you got your uh, second fret over here or you can play it this way all right so that's just before the chorus of the song and after all we've said please don't forget all my friends are leaving take it slow so now we come back to the chorus of the song and now for this chorus of the song I'm going to show you an easy strum pattern over there so you go on C major down Okay, just down, 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 up. Come to A minor, down, 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 up. Come to E minor, down, 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 up, down. Down, down, up, C. E minor, down, down, E minor, down. Down, down, up, down. Down, da, 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 Up, down. But you don't know the half of me. So when you go back to the second verse of the song, uh, where you're gonna just do the same thing, A minor and E minor, down, mute, mute, up, down, down, mute, mute, up, down, mute, mute, up, down. You do the same thing. Then again in the very end, da 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 da. Then you come to the chorus again. All my friends are hidden. It's, you know, so you can use the same strum pattern that we were doing on the verse. You can apply that to the chorus as well. So just that one more chord will be added. So you see how that goes on C major. Down, mute, mute, up, A minor. Down, mute, mute, up, E minor. Down, mute, mute, up, down. Mute, mute, up, C. Mute, mute, up, E minor. Mute, mute, up, E minor. Right? So you can apply the same strum pattern to the chorus. Alright, so now we know how to play most of the parts of the song. And for the bridge as well, we're just going to use the same um, chords. Uh, the bridge is nothing but just the same rhythm over there as well. You know, you can use the same strum pattern as the chorus. So down, down, A minor. 
actually the same goes for the outer as well. Why do you come? You know you should have stayed. I tried to warn you just to stay away. song on E minor all right so basically that is how you play heathens by 21 pilots I hope you like the lesson now I just want to show you how to play some of the lead parts that I was doing during the intro of the song during the intro of this video uh, so let's get into it all right so we begin by playing the fourth fret on the third string fifth fret Go back to the 4th fret, go to the 5th fret on the 4th string, alright, so, then do this again, and then in the end, just go to the 2nd fret on the 4th string, alright, so once again, alright, so from the beginning, do it again, alright, now for the next part, this part can be played in various different positions, so for now I'm just going to show you this one, which is an easy one, you're on the 9th fret of the 3rd string, alright, so 9th fret of the 3rd string, come to the 7th fret, and s slide back to the 5th fret on the third string so do it again and then again hit the ninth fret hit it again and then you can slide all the way back to the third to the fourth fret all right so like this or you can you know just play the ninth fret on the fourth string that's also an option so once again from the beginning for this part Again, and in the end, you know, then repeat this whole thing one more time. So basically, you know, you can hit the fifth fret again, then you can slide from the seven to the nine, play the ninth again. So for the second time, we can do this. You know, you hit the 5th fret, then you hit the slide from 7 to 9. Alright, so basically that is all there is. Right, once again. And then. Again. That is how you play Heathens by 21 Pilots. I hope you liked the lesson. And if you did like the lesson, then please make sure to hit the like button. I appreciate all of your support. And please make sure to subscribe as well. If you're new here, I post lots of new guitar tutorials on this channel. And I will see you guys next time. Till then, goodbye.